Hi, Jen. Hi. So um, I'd like to ask you, um, how does all the Auto Trader uh, define its sustainable performance at the moment? So I think we have a number of streams that are in place at the moment from a sustainability point of view. So we have our network, which I spoke about earlier. Uh, we have our network, our net zero working group, which I briefly touched on. And then we have something we call a blue card, which is essentially just a focus that brings together all our environmental streams. And essentially we have uh, quarterly meetings with our internal board where we will report back what we're doing and what our progress is. And then we actually have quarterly, half yearly meetings with our external board, which we just had one actually a couple of weeks ago, where we share our progress and what we're doing. Um, so the account, I guess accountability is key. I touched yeah. on that earlier from a sustainability point of view. And we definitely have those streams in place to review where are we at, what are we doing, what do we need to do more of, are we approaching it in the right way, and yeah, and reassess what we're, what we're doing as well. Great, okay. Um, so, uh, what would you say to any marketers feeling overwhelmed at the size and scale of the sustainability problem? Huge question. It's, but it is, it's a huge point, isn't it? Sustainability is so big and it, it underpins, and it, sh well, it should underpin everything we do. But in a way, I think that's why people feel alienated by it. Because when we talk about sustainability, it's this massive thing. Well, where do you start? My advice would be start small, start somewhere, get it down on paper, make yourself accountable, have one goal, start with one goal. And that's what we did at All Trader. We started with carbon literacy. We wanted to get our people educated and trained up on what a carbon footprint is and what does carbon literacy mean. Um, so, yeah. But the, the key points would be start small, get it down on paper, and be accountable. Reach out with that educational message to the staff, I suppose, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, D don't feel like you need to have this huge strategy. Start with one thing, and then it, it will grow naturally from there. Um, and in terms of uh, Auto Trader's business model, where exactly does sustainability sit? Yeah, it, it's a really good question, and I, I touched on earlier. When you think about Auto Trader, and you know we sell cars, I should also say vans, vehicles, yeah. vehicles. We <laughs> sell lot. vehicles. Yeah. yeah, we sell everything. <laughs> um, or we're an advertising platform that enables retailers to do that. Um, so naturally, you know that relationship between car and literally, you'd think, well, that's not strange. But actually, I think. Can you just repeat the question? Yeah, so of course. Bit, so. Um, in terms of Auto Trader's business model, where exactly do you see sustainability sitting? Yes. Fine. Yes, so um, I think given our audience, I touched on that earlier, we have a huge opportunity to educate people, particularly from an electric vehicle point of view. So we can influence how people buy electric vehicles, how they understand that, and actually moving to that electric vehicle model and away from ICE vehicles, diesel, petrol. I think it, that that's a fundamental part of our strategy that we can influence and change and, and support climate change um, and then where else does it sit well really it, it should underpin, underpin everything we're doing and everything we do do now we do think about this is impact from a sustainability point mind, of view yeah. um, but I do think we have to get the balance right because when we talk about sustainability um, we, we have to be mindful of our business and, and what we do but where we have an opportunity absolutely we should drive towards that so. Wonderful. And I suppose lastly, just on a personal note, I'm kind of a bit interested in what the kind of adoption rate of electric vehicles is. Have you noticed this like, particular kind of increase in demand for them with the fuel shortages and everything at the moment? Or? Absolutely. So we look at a lot of data every day. Um, and you're absolutely right. We're seeing huge spikes in demand for electric vehicles, um, particularly as the price of fuel has, has increased and um, over the past few months. I think education actually on electric vehicles is key and it's still a little bit unknown i think the new ev sector so buying a new electric vehicle is is probably easier but the used side of it is is still people are a little bit more uncertain about that understandably so exactly because you've got th things like the battery of a car when you're buying a new vehicle it's very clear what the range is going to be but if you're buying a, a four-year-old used electric vehicle that range isn't going to be what it was when it was new. That's something I hadn't even thought about. Yeah, yeah. so how, <laughs> how do you get that across? And actually, if this is going to become, this is fundamental to the automotive industry. How, how do we make it mainstream? How do we make people understand it and, and, and have that trust and build that confidence? But it's absolutely um, 
growing in terms of interest and, and consumer demand, and it has to. Yeah, it has to, yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Thanks very much, Jen. Ah, thank you fantastic. so much.